Hey everyone, this is Josh Gavin with Tizdish.com. On this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to integrate your Flickr.com photo account with your WordPress blog. So uh, the first thing you need to do is get the following tool. named Flickr Gallery as you see here so I'll, I'll again I'll include the links with any link I reference I'll include it with this video tutorial but basically you want to get this plugin and install it on your WordPress site um, any Tizish clients just contact us about this and we'll install it for you anybody else just you have to download it from here and install it on your website directly so now let's assume you actually have installed it on your website here's what you need to do when you install it on your website what you're going to find is the following under your set under your settings you'll see under settings you'll see something called Flickr gallery you have to click on that and then after clicking on Flickr gallery you'll be on this page here on this page there's two or three specific things you have to do number one get an API key number two find your user ID and then choose this option for user ID and number three choose the number of photos I like 30 the rest you could do just like this All right. So uh, the first thing you want to do is find your API key or get an API key. Here's what you have to do. Click on this link and that will open up a window just like this. Now on this window here, you need to apply for a non-commercial key. So you apply for non-commercial key and then just put in some basic info. What is, this, what is the name of your app? I would use your website name like, you know, uh, let's say if your website is, you know, uh, 123 Main Street. I would say 123 Main Street. Uh, Flickr connection or, or let's say a uh, photo connect because you can't use the words of the companies and then what are you building I would just put using a WordPress plugin named Flickr gallery for my blog something like that after that you acknowledge you agree and then you submit let's do a real one okay after that you submit and then here it is right here see this big key I'm gonna delete this key after but just for the sake of this tutorial you take this key and then you wanna go back into your WordPress admin panel and paste it here you paste your key there make sure this is checked the next thing you wanna do is find your user ID so here's how you find your user ID go to this website here called ID getter exactly as you see it spelled here go to this website this name.com so idgetter.com and it's gonna ask you to enter your it's, you'll see this exact link just enter your username for your account so this one I'm doing with Thatch's username after you put in your username you click on find and this will pull up an ID number you're gonna to have to take this ID number and paste that into this section here and on this drop down choose user ID after that put 30 I would uh, check mark I would check mark all of these actually and then after that you're you're pretty much all set you can ignore everything else uh, make sure this is up to you I would uncheck it just so you don't have links pointing to other sites that are off of yours after that click on save changes and you're all done now after you set up your site let's talk about now how do we actually enter enter a photo stream into a posting so it looks like this here's a posting see how this is my photos from Seattle and more and it has all these images here's how you do this all right, you go to your posting page. You go to either pages or posts. It's up to you. Let's just say we're going to go to add new right here. And this part is very, very simple and straightforward. After you go to your posting page, you just got to make sure you're on the visual editor by clicking on this tab. when the page is all loaded up just enter your title so I'll just call this demo picture gallery and then now at this point you want to enter the following code or following text exactly as you see me pasting right here flicker hyphen gallery in these brackets just like you see there okay and make sure you do it just like that because this little code is going to activate the plugin to enter the photo gallery. So when right when I put in this text here, and by the way, you could put it with text or you could put text before it or after. Here is some text. You could put it before it or you could put it after. Let me just to show you an example. 
let's say you put it before and after. After that, you want to publish your posting, and then let's just see it live. We go to view page. And now here we are on the demo page. Exactly, here's the text above it. Here's the actual Flickr code and all the Flickr images and so forth. And then here's the text after. So you could use this on as many postings as you want, on as many pages. It sky's the limit, but the basic usage is understood now that I covered in this video. So that's everything on integrating Flickr.com into your WordPress blog postings. If you have any questions, let me know on Facebook.com forward slash Tizish. Otherwise, hit the like button, comment, and let me know how you use this video. I would love to see how you integrate it with your site. All right? Well, that's everything. Take care.